guys welcome back to my youtube channel sorry there's i'm like in front of the sun there's a businessman walking behind me um but anyway for today's video i'm gonna be trying the birria tacos why is there smoke from el pollo loco which could either be like i don't know could they be really good or could they just be good or terrible I don't know I have very high expectations but I just feel like a lot of places can't really pull off birria tacos so like I don't know I'm a little skeptical but I'm intrigued so I'm, I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna try it and see see what the vibe is because honestly like where I live there's not that many um, places that have the birria tacos so I always have to like you know go to Uno's tacos or other places that are like far so you know if i just need to satisfy the craving this might do it i don't know it might be crazy right now we are about to find out <laughs> all right let's go get these tacos okay i'm ready can i get the the crunchy tacos with the consomme please yeah of course anything else Ah, uh, that'll be it. Thank you. Okay, you guys, we prepared the bag. Let me scoot my seat back. We <laughs> prepared the bag. So this is what what it comes with. So you guys, this is the consomme. It's literally just like a tiny ass tub and it's weird because like you can actually buy so they have a burrito a quesadilla and the two crunchy tacos um and then the consomme but you can buy like tacos separately or you can buy this separately so i think if you want to like mix and match or like get more um but this is like 99 cents on its own so that's a little sus but it's literally like filled halfway up too so we have that and then I got the, I thought their red salsa would be good with it, so we'll see. Let's get some. And then it's nice because they give you like little chips. And my two tacos. So let's try this. I'm scared. Ooh, I just tried a little bit of this and it's so spicy, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit, you know, give it some, some flavor. Ooh, this one's actually kind of spicy. Can't close it. Ooh. show you guys what it looks like Ooh, i'm gonna spill i know i don't trust myself anymore so i'm gonna go for the dip mm, cheesy so the consomme tastes like pozole it's the only way I can describe it. I'm gonna show you guys it right now. These are actually not bad. <gasps> well, so, first impression. The consomme is like a little salty. So I didn't mix in the salsa, so that's why I can I can tell the difference on like the taste. The consomme is a little salty. It tastes like pozole. But with the salsa, it makes it pretty good. So this is what Ooh. Here, let me try. This is what the consomme looks like. So it has onions, it has cilantro you can kind of see it and 
this is literally like they just fill it up halfway so i, I mean i guess that's why it's 99 cents but it makes sense because realistically you don't i mean at least i don't ever finish my consomme um but yeah so that's what that looks like and then let me show you guys dude i do not trust myself i'm about to spill everything the tacos have um onion cilantro it's like an onion freaking taco and then there's the carne right there and the cheese so the taco is pretty good actually like i'm not mad at it also my car is like set up so weird so like the way that i have to put it down like is such a weird angle but that's what we're doing today because i'm so hungry you know it's like i'm not gonna wait to get home i just spilled something else mm -mm -mm. Three days later. That's interesting. So, everyone, all I see when I go online is the Will Smith stuff. There's like no escaping it. It's all over Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And it's crazy because I feel like everyone has such extreme opinions. Like, I feel like there's, at least for me, I haven't really seen any middle ground. Like, you have those people that are team, like, Chris Rock. But they're like, arrest Will Smith. He assaulted him. Like, like he should be arrested. Sue him. Like, you know, just very extreme, like, perspective and very, like, demeaning things are being said about him or it's like like chris rock should have said that like how dare he make fun of a a disabled a disabled person even though like it's technically a disorder but it's like those people that are like like he should be canceled like i would have punched him too like yeah he should defend his wife you know like those things so it's like weird it's like very extreme things hello lady but i can see both sides like i feel like you're allowed to like be upset at a joke you're allowed to feel however you feel about it but i feel like how you react to it is you know a whole different thing like i don't oh my sure i see through oops um like he did he really have to go up there and like slap him like i don't think that was necessary he could have just waited and said something like after the show i don't know that was a little extreme and when he apologized and was like it was an emotional reaction like bro you literally thought about that and still thought about it as you got up and like walked up stage like you had these thoughts like how did you not logically think about the what you were about to do like what i understand i don't know i feel like it's one thing if like a stranger was like clowning on your wife you, then you can react in you know whatever way but it's literally a comedian like at a, an awards show making jokes roasting everyone there so like i don't know I feel like if you can't laugh at a joke, then I don't know. I don't know. It's just really weird to me. But I'm also the type of person that's like very lax on a lot of things. I'm just like, a lot of things are not the end of the world. So yeah, I mean, I don't really know. I honestly feel like he will has Will Smith has been going through like a lot public publicly, you know. And I think a lot of that was kind of misdirected misdirected i don't think you know i think it came from like a different place i don't think it was about that moment to chris rock you know what i mean so i think he needs therapy that's what i think
and shout out to Chris Rock for, um, for like being professional about it. Like, cause that kind of sucks, you know. Like, imagine, imagine you're you're doing your job, making a joke, and then someone goes up and slaps you, like on live TV. Like, that's some clown activity right there. That was some clown activity. That's weird. Okay. So I want to know how Chris Rock feels about it. Because, like, I don't know. I don't know. He hasn't said anything. But, yeah. I don't, like, hate Will Smith or anything. Like, I know a lot of people, when I had posted about it, were, like, messaging me saying, like, I lost all respect for him. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I will never watch any of his movies. You know, like that. To me, I feel like... I don't feel that way because I love Will Smith but I'm also like I don't like weirdo behavior and he, that was definitely weirdo behavior so like hmm, makes you feel some type of way but I don't know I guess we'll see and I love Chris Rock I saw that his his um comedy tour tickets like his sales have gone up so I actually need to get my tickets I've been meaning to get my ticket but I've been waiting to find out like who's gonna go with me um because i would love i've never been to like a stand-up like comedy show and i wanted to go to kevin hart last year but then i missed it when i saw chris rock was coming i was like oh my gosh i want to go and i was waiting to see if maybe like my brother would want to go or my friends because i feel like my brother would really enjoy that and that would be funny like we me and my brother love stand-up comedy i love chris rock I love Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, and Cat Williams. Oh my, those are my favorite. But anyway, that's honestly it for my my review of the the birria tacos. I've been eating the chips, with the tacos of man, and it's not bad. I would say maybe it's like a like a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. It's. I would probably get it to, like, satisfy my craving, but if I really, like, was hungry and I, like, really, really wanted it, like, I I would go to, like, who knows, tacos or something, but I'm impressed. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I look so ugly. I literally just came from work and Joss and I don't be getting ready for work. But um, yeah, comment down below if you're team um, Will Smith or team Chris Rock. I'll see you guys next time. I actually have something really cool that I'm going to. So that'll be my next video. So yeah, goodbye. Mm -hmm.